And bitch, my thumb, my thumb locked up. Like it went like this. Does that happen when you get old? Like, I was walking like this. I was like, ah, nah. So, I was trying to pull it. Like, I really had to pull my thumb. And I sat there like this. And I was like, what the freak is happening? <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, I said, what's going on in my life? I said, is it going to get stuck like this? I said, I said, I said, this cannot be, I said, this can't be happening. I was like, Jesus, Jesus, if you lose this, I said, if you lose this, I will just stop it off. I said, I stop it Y'all. I, did that come from, does that come from popping your knuckles and stuff? Like, I used to pop my knuckles a lot growing up. And my mama said, she she said, yo, postpartum is probably love. Yo, oh, your potassium is probably love. Yeah, mom, I, I said postpartum. My mama said, I need to drink a lot of water. Oh, somebody just said it. My mama said, I need more water. So I'm about to, bitch, I'm about to throw water back. Oh, because, yeah, and I've been drinking a lot of beer. Because, baby, this thing, I was, I don't want to do it. It's this thumb. I can still kind of feel it. It's always this thumb. See, I'm scared. And it was like this. And, like, I was like, ah. So, I'm scared, girl. Check your attention. Okay. I'm scared. That scared me. Water, water, water. <laughs> Oh my God. God, I'm so scared. Girl, don't speak that on me. You can get arthritis. I don't have arthritis. I just need my water and I need my potassium up. It ain't arthritis. You can claim arthritis, girl, but I'm not claiming arthritis. Hilarious, but yes, that would be scary. Friend, it was stuck for like maybe a minute and I had to pull it. And every time I pulled it, it said, I know you fucking lying. I said, oh, I know you lying. Then it said, I know you lying. I said, okay, I'm going to just leave it. <laughs> I, said, I said, okay, I'm going to leave it. So I was just there like this, like, okay, you got it, fool. And then all of a sudden she said, nah. I said, whoo, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Girl, uh -oh. I can't have no boyfriend like with my hand like that. No offense, you know. I don't want to make nobody feel no type of way. Because some people be born like that. But that's just not on my rodeo. I'm sorry. That's low potassium magnesium. Okay, so yeah, I need to. Um, I used to eat bananas a lot. Then I stopped. And then I, I drink a lot of water. But I do more intake on beer than I do water. So, yeah, and I said, I said, well, mama, what is that? She said, that's arthritis or you just need some more water. And I said, that's what it is because I drink a lot. I drink a lot, y'all. I drink a lot. That's why my stomach is like this. Like, it, that's nothing. That's just the pants. Don't think it's me because when I fix it, girl, it ain't motherfucking nothing. Don't do me, girl. But, um, yeah, I drink a lot. See, I want my stomach. Hold on. I want my, I don't know. I just drink a lot. Beer will dehydrate you. I know that, friend. That's why I said I drink a lot of beer more than water. Um, Drink one glass of water. Y'all, uh, yeah. See, that ain't gonna happen, girl. I gotta get a little drunk. So, I'm gonna try to get back on my water. Like, I used to drink a lot of water. And that's probably why, like, my bags look like this. My skin ain't as bright as it used to be. Because... I don't drink a lot of water. Oh, and y'all can stop um, calling them people now. They said y'all was going ham. They said y'all was saying crazy shit, like just crazy stuff. Y'all is so mean. But my car is good. It looks amazing. Oh, you love my eyebrows? Thank you. My car is good. It looks freaking amazing. Like it looks so, 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 so good. But I'm thinking about getting the Bronco, y'all. It's like, I, I have to. I'll send you a recipe. Okay, friend. 
Leave one near the bed. I, girl, I always do. I, friend, y'all, I just, y'all said water. <laughs> I know how to drink water. I used to drink water. I just don't drink it like I used to because I've just been drinking. Somebody said, no, this is my car, not yours. Um, somebody said, um, I mean, I just haven't drank it like I used to. I used to drink water, boots, boots, boots. But, um, I stopped and I just was drinking a lot of beer. Just a lot of beer. Um, the, the Land Rover, I don't care. I like my Bronco. I just call, yeah, don't call him no more. I'm good. Don't call him no more. We good. We're good. Um, uh, they said, who is that behind you? That's Keisha. I mean, that's Jamal, and this is Keisha. They my friends, and um, I cast spells on people who come to my house and get on my nerves. So if like I have a bad spirit type of man in here, those really do have like energies in them, and they'll fuck you up. So think twice when you come to my house trying to act crazy, because them spirits will carry back out on you. But uh, yeah, I'm such a fan. Oh, thank you, friend. I really appreciate that. Y'all, we had 7,000 people in here. Then after I told what was wrong with me, everybody left. They thought I was going to say some real shit, and they left. It's okay. <laughs> Y'all really be in here for the shits when I say, help. They say, oh, throw your thumb. Bye, bitch. We'll come back when you acting crazy. But um, <laughs> I don't know. You do voodoo. Bitch, yeah. Now all y'all gonna be my friend forever. Um, and don't say that. Don't say what? This, the voodoo? Oh, it will. Anybody looking at this right now, you're gonna have a nightmare. Sleep paralysis. On you. Now y'all scared. I'm out. Gotta go. <laughs> Gotta go. Then I need to stop doing edibles. I got to stop doing edibles too, child. Oh, y'all. My dog, I think he may have allergies. I think he may have allergies because his fur, like I've changed nothing. I've changed nothing at all. And um, his fur has gotten like a little dry. And um, like he's really dandruffy. I haven't changed any shampoo. I have um, haven't changed any food or nothing. So I went on my Snapchat and I asked my Snapchat, I was like, what should I do if my dog has a lot of um, dandruff right now? They said, oh, pollen's getting ready to come around. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. And um, they were like, so what you need to do now is give him some salmon oil on his food or don't feed him chicken right now and feed him salmon. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to like try to switch over to salmon and then, you know, put a little salmon oil on his food so he can do better. And they said if that don't work, then they said there's this shot they can give dogs and it'll really, um, it'll really help. Because like when I, I changed nothing and his fur was so shiny and pretty and now it's just like, oh, like when you pet him, it's just, it come out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, this is so great. Rose and like I'm really big on like people skin and I'm big on dog skin and like it's just ooh it looks so disgusting like snowflakes everywhere and I've changed nothing just the fish treat is fine I think I'm gonna just change his food from chicken to salmon. He's getting older now. Yeah, he just turned one. Like, he just turned one. Oh, to the hell, I don't eat edibles. Yeah, I kill edibles, girl. Um, the body gets tired of the same food. That's all. Oh, uh-uh, like... Not a blizzard, dog. Yes! Raw, I already, baby, I already do that. My dog eats... He eats cooked food. My dog eats chicken. Let me show you what he eats. Hold on. My dog eat good, baby. He eat this. This is chicken, and then it has like the bit. Like this is good. And then I crack an egg in here, and this is what I feed him. And so like he's been having this since he was a puppy, and his skin shiny, black, beautiful, looks good. But it's like now all of a sudden, like I've had him for like a year now. It just hit a year, March the something. He just turned a year. 
But uh, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, his skin just got really, really, really uh, dry. And I think, um, like, like somebody said, it's just because allergies is going to come around. And um, <clears throat> when I first got him, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, you know, allergies at the time I got him. It was, it was, yeah. Y'all, I'm not changing my dog. You know what? Let me tell you. Let me say this slow. <laughs> say it slow. My dog shampoo. <laughs> my dog shampoo's good. Okay? His shampoo's good. It's the same shampoo we've been using since I got him. Skin has been shiny and black. Shampoo, good. Haven't changed the shampoo since he was a puppy because he's still a puppy. Okay? Still a puppy. He just turned one. Shampoo, good. <laughs> I don't do cheap shampoo. Shampoo, good. Same shampoo since he was a puppy. Fur been shining since a puppy. Slobbering, good. Ain't changed the food since he was a puppy. <laughs> this food and one egg since he was a puppy. Good. <laughs> Shiny fur. Good. This same food and one egg since he was a puppy. Good. <laughs> Shiny fur. Good. Um, I ain't changed nothing. Nothing. I ain't changed the food. I ain't changed the diet. I ain't changed the exercise. I ain't changed nothing. Good. I don't need <laughs> I don't need to change the shampoo. I don't need to change the food. Everything is working. Perfectly fine. I think it's what the people are telling me. Now that he's, since I had him for a year, I didn't have him around allergy season with pollen. I didn't get him around that time. Now allergy season has came about. And I think, like they said, he just may have allergies. And so now I think his fur is reacting to the pollen that's about to come. And so I think I need to put fish oil, like they said, the salmon oil on his food. And they said, if that don't work, then you need to go take him to the vet because it may be bad and they may have to give him that shot. I don't need no new shampoo. <laughs> I don't need no new food. <laughs> this is the same shit I've been doing. And he's been shiny. He's been beautiful. And he's been good since I got him as a puppy. I think it's the allergies. I just think it's the allergies. That's it. I haven't tried different shit. Like, ooh, this week I want you to eat this. Next week I want you to eat this. Ooh, I'm tired of this shampoo. I want another shampoo. No. I keep the same shit. Like, I, I don't change shit around. I don't do none of that. No, I'm not doing no oatmeal bath. I ain't doing none of that. Um, mm-mm. Mm-mm. I just, I think it's the allergies. I'm sticking with that. I'm sticking with that. I'm sticking with that. So, I'm sticking with that. I'm sticking with that. Where is he? Right now, I, um, um, the pollen is hitting different this year. Yeah, um, do change if it's working. Yeah, I'm not changing nothing because it's working. Cody, Cody, I'm telling y'all, when it's pretty outside, my cat likes to go outside. People just making suggestions, no harm. Oh, you must be sensitive. It's okay. You, this your first time watching me? Welcome. <laughs> I'm a, let me tell you about myself. I'm a Gemini. Um, let me, I'm going to introduce myself to you. What's your name? Hold on. Hey, nice to meet you. Color, um, color V bad. Nice to meet you. My name is Zoe. I am a Gemini, May 31st. Um, we, we're like, um, we're straightforward people. Okay. So if I tell you that nothing that I've been doing was wrong, then I don't need no suggestions. <laughs> if I told you. That everything has been the same and he was good. Then out of nowhere, something happened. 
then I would like your suggestions. <laughs> Cause Gemini's we're straight we're straightforward people. So like I can see if I said I was feeding him chicken, then next month I fed him salmon, then next month I fed him lamb meat, and then you know last week I was giving him a oatmeal bath, and then this week I'm giving him this new bubble bath for dogs. Then it's like okay, so just stick to oatmeal. I get it, but when it's the same thing I've been doing since the puppy, <laughs> it's like somebody says shit changes. No. Shit don't change. The weather changes. So I really believe, I really believe it's the allergies. I, I really do. Um, I think it's the allergies because like, I, this is not my first dog. I've had many dogs and I keep the same, like I figure out what works with that dog. And like the same shampoo I used on my Doberman probably is not going to work on him. I don't know. It's just, I went with the texture of his fur Woop, 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 yada, yada, yada. At the beginning, I had to figure out what was working with my dog. And certain things didn't work with my dog. And what some people don't understand, when you try to use... Some people will use, a, like, adult shampoo and all that stuff on puppies. And you can't do that because puppies' fur and skin is different than an adult fur. So, when, when you go to the store and y'all try to get, like, the puppy shampoo but with all that other stuff in it... It still can be a puppy shampoo, but as a puppy, they don't need that cologne and all them scents. So when I get my puppy, I just get regular puppy shampoo without all the extra crap because their fur and their skin's not ready for all of that. Like, I really look up stuff for dogs. Like, I really, I like, I'm not just that type of owner who just gets shit and you start experimenting. I really like look up stuff. Um, so... Zone answer. I work at a vet clinic. He has a good one. <laughs> Y'all gonna hate me. Adult fur. No, I'm for real. Like, just like with puppy food, you can't give a dog grown folks food because it's just different. Like, I don't know. He gonna be good. Y'all, he good. Let me just, let me just hush. Thank you for all your suggestions and your opinions. I take it in. I love y'all so much. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, um, Jim and I's, we're just really, we're really like straight to the point. <sighs> like if I was confused, I would have been like, I need suggestions. But I just said like, do y'all think it's the allergy? So we were just talking about allergies and our food and y'all went on food and like some food. I think that's probably why I'm single. No, you don't. No, you don't what? No, you don't what? No, I, just with Jim and I, we just, you know, I don't know. You have your car? No. How much do you charge for promo? In my Instagram bio. Um, adult, adult fur. Um, Zo said help, but not really. No, the help was for my thumb. And y'all helped me. Y'all said water. Y'all said bananas. See, that's when I needed help. Well, I didn't know. Um, appreciate the suggestions. No. I didn't ask for it. My suggestions and help was for my thumb. <laughs> it, it, it was for my thumb because I didn't know um, but yeah the help was for my thumb if you're new my thumb had locked up and I was so freaking scared I was like what's going on with my thumb and they told me I need to drink more water and eat bananas and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to down a lot of water and I'm going to go buy me some bananas so yeah Thank y'all for that because a bitch was scared. A bitch was scared. Um, looking at it, probably like, so you so mean. No, I'm just blunt, girl. I still love you, though. I love you, friend. I love you, friend. When you rather have somebody in your, like, um, all that hitchhiking you've been <laughs> Okay! Um, how you been feeling since your baptism? Blessed. Not just a banana. No, they said bananas and water and stuff like that. And your potassium and your magnesium. I saw all that. So, yeah. I'm a, um, yeah, I've been doing it, friend. I've been rotating. You ain't seen me, girl. I'm not here rubbing it, girl. Um, hey, Lacey J. Uh, I'm just saying, so we could run down. No, we're good, girl. What happened to your car? A whole lot, a whole lot of um, what is the app you looked at in the location? Oh, Live 360. I think that's what it's called. 
No, my toes don't lock up, bitch. No, ma'am. If they do, bitch, I'm old, old then, girl. I love you, so Been here since nine. Thank you, bitch. Gemini's friendly people. We have good spirits, and that is so true. Um, You killing me with them little sips of water. Right. Um, no, if I went alive, I'd be killing that water. Like, I'd be killing it. But, you know, some people would be saying, like, you're drinking too fast. And then, like, when I drunk the bottle, that person's like, though, you know, you can feel your lungs up and die. Jesus Christ. Relax. Relax. My goodness. Um, them locks looking good, friend. Thank you, friend. My knee been locking up. Ooh, you need to run. <laughs> You need to run, girl. Uh, I love you. I love you too. I'm, now I'm just talking y'all. I really want to stand this long. I was really supposed to just ask y'all about my thumb. And y'all, look at my baby. Hey, baby daddy. I really was supposed to ask y'all about my thumb and um, get off. People so extra. Yes, girl. And you work on the computer a lot. Carpetano. So I'm going to have to start wearing that little glove thing. How you feel about the gas? I'm the type of person, I don't, like, I don't complain about, like, I may complain on a video to make it funny, because I know that's what everybody is, like, thinking. But really, I'm the type of person, I don't complain, child. Like, why complain? That complaining ain't finna change the gas. They gonna do what the fuck they wanna do. So I don't complain. I'm like, child, you needed to get around, so fuck you complaining for. <laughs> Okay, so I don't complain. I'm like, bitch, it's seven dollars. Okay, guess you gotta pay for it. What I mean? What else you gonna do? Unless you just ride the bus. So, oh, see, I just popped my um thumb again. I need to stop. But I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. I mean, sometimes complaining can work, but right now, complaining ain't gonna change that game. It's like you're just stressing yourself out for no reason, and it's better things to stress out about. You know what I'm saying? Like, really stressing. You shouldn't even stress anyway, because if something's going to happen, it's going to happen. You can't change it. If somebody's in the hospital, don't stress, because, I mean, they're there. You can't change it. Then you're going to end up being in there because you're stressing. If you got a flat tire, don't stress about it, bitch. It's flat. What you going to do now? Just fix it and keep it moving. Well, I ain't got the money to fix it. Well, honey, ride on that donut until you can fix it, okay? Hello. It ain't going to change shit. You can't make the money go faster. If your boyfriend cheated on you, your girlfriend left you, uh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Stressing about it's gonna do what? Nothing but have you over there stressed the fuck out for no reason. Let it fucking go. I know it sounds easier said than done, but once you get to that point in your life, it's like when you get older. When you get older, a lot of things don't bother you like it used to. Now, when I was like 17, 18, shit used to really get to me. And I think this comes when you get older and when you start to mature. It's just like everything becomes fuck it. Okay, it's like, fuck it. <laughs> um, hello, I'm calling because you have a payment that you have. You gonna send it? You gonna send it to collections? Fuck it. <laughs> okay, at this point, fuck it. I told you I don't have it right now. Okay, I don't give a damn if you call me twenty times. I still don't have it. Okay, well it's in collections. Fuck it. <laughs> when I get it, you will get it. You will know when I have it. But right now, I don't have it. And you calling me ain't going to make me get it. No faster. Okay? So, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. That word would get you through a lot of stuff. I know a lot of y'all don't cuss. Screw it. Forget it. I don't give a darn about it. Let it go. Like, I'm serious. Just That'll help you a lot in life. When you get a ticket from the cop. It's a ticket. Okay, fuck it. <laughs> give it to me. Just give it to me. You know, and I've, I've learned that when I was already ready to get a ticket, I learned that they be giving me warnings. They be like, here you go. It's a warning. Because I already put in my mind, I'm going to get it. Fuck it. <laughs> so now it's like, you change that energy and it's just like, I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it. And watch how you live a whole lot better saying screw stuff. Like, screw it. Now, don't say it all the time, nigga. Some shit, some stuff you do need to pay, okay? Some stuff you do need to pay. Like, you can't just say, screw your rent. <laughs> yeah. Okay? 
then you're going to be on the street. You can't say screw your rent. You can't say screw your light bills because, you know, that stuff you need. Are you going to be sitting in the dark? <laughs> Are you going to be outside? There's certain things you say screw it to. Okay? Don't take that the wrong way. Um, But even if you don't have your rent... <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> and then you have to fit. Now that's when you got to figure out, okay, what are I going to do? Now, now it's up to you. If you're going to, if you're going to say, you know what? Screw it. Now it's like, screw it. But what am I going to do? <laughs> do I have somewhere to go? Am I going to go in a hotel? I ain't got no money for the, um, the um the storage. So now you got to figure out what I'm gonna do. But don't. But you can't stress on that because you're gonna be like, you know what? I said screw that. But now I gotta find somewhere to go. And if nobody take you in, then girl, you gotta just say screw it and make it do what it do. Either you fucking for some change, or you gonna slip up under the bridge for a little minute. And all you can say after that is fuck it. <laughs> I'm here. Fuck it. <laughs> At the end of the day, whatever decision you make, it's still going to be, screw it. I did that decision. What's next? And you got to just keep it moving, girl. But when you start dwelling on shit and start getting straight, oh, <laughs> but yeah, that's how I was in my car. I was just like, you know, everybody was like, so I think I self-talked myself up to being mad with my car. I self-talked myself because I wasn't really mad. I think I got mad because I didn't really care that the car was gone so long. Because like I was like, bitch, I got it. I mean, I got an Uber. You know what I'm saying? I got to eat. So I have to start. You, I got mad when I felt like I was getting lied to. It wasn't even the fact the car was gone for two months. I got mad when I felt like I was getting the runaround. Like, if I'm not lying to you or I'm a loyal person to you and then you break our loyalty and you lying to me, that is what made me mad. When I felt like my time and stuff that I was going through in life was not appreciated. Like, you didn't, you weren't appreciating that or you wasn't taking in consideration of me not having a car, me having to go on Ubers, me having to Uber Eats, and I felt like you didn't care. The principal. Yes, that's what made me mad. I didn't really care that the car was gone. I didn't care because I needed it fixed. I know I can't fix it, so it need to get fixed. Somebody said, but two months, I'm that type of person. Fuck it. If it has to be gone that long, fuck it. But just communicate with me. Tell me, Zoe, we're busy. Zoe, we ain't got the shit right now. Zoe, these motherfuckers done called out. I'm sorry. Just talk to me. Let me know what's going on. That's all. But if I, you ain't talking to me, I can't do that. Yeah, just give me clear information and talk, just talk to me. That's all I need. Just talk to me. Because I'm spending my money. You know what I'm saying? I'm spending money. I don't care if it's insurance. <laughs> Hell, that's my money too. I'm spending my insurance money. I'm spending my personal money. It's like, that's my money. Just let me know what's going on. <laughs> mm. Um, it most definitely was a wake up call. What was Shayla? What's going on, girl? What happened to you? What the happened to you? It was a wake up call. What happened to you, friend? Someone else could have fixed it. Up. No, what I learned was this. So, you know, it's communication. And now me talking to them, I learned stuff that goes on in the shops. So this is what they had told me. I'm just spitting slobbering. This is what I learned that goes on in the shops. So you have people who can really work on cars. And then people who went to vocational schools who really don't know how to work on cars. So let's say I'm working at Ford, right? 
and um, I'm working at Ford and you have mechanics who come to be like, oh, I know how to work on cars. You, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then you be like, okay, but what all do you know how to do? And they be like, oh, I can do this, but they really can't do everything. So you really can't hire them. But then when you find that one worker who's like really fucking good, excuse me, y'all gotta stop cussing so much. When you find that one worker who's really, really, really good, it's like they know they're good. And you can't fire them because a lot of people really don't know how to work on cars. So it's like that one worker can say, hey, I'm not coming into work today. So all those cars are just sitting there because that person don't want to come into work. But because he's so good, you can't fire him because there's only one out of a hundred who can actually work on the cars and be good. So it's like you have some who know how to do just this and that, but it's probably two who can really work on cars. And they kind of take advantage of you because they know you're not going to fire them because ain't nobody really know how to work on a fucking car. So that's kind of what was going on too, but they didn't really want to say that. But I learned that today through communication. So just say that. Say we really got to work on a car. I mean, but that's any, that's any shop, not just that one. But it's just said that, you know, I don't know. That's why when they say, don't ever, that's why they say, don't ever down nobody with what job they do. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, you might be an actor, but guess what actor? When your car fuck up, when your car screw up, you don't know how to fix it. So we need to be grateful for everybody in every position that they're doing in life. I don't know how to work on no car. So your calling in life was for you to be a mechanic. So I'm grateful for you, mechanic, sir. I don't give a damn if you don't make millions of dollars. But baby, you know how to fix that car. And some of, some people, you never know who car you might work on that might say, hey, you know, the more you learn how to work on cars, you might one day build your own car. You know, so it's like, don't don't stop there being a mechanic. Start learning how can I build a car? I don't know. Um, He's a May Gemini, but act like a June Gemini. Child, let me tell you something. I feel like no matter what, if you that fine, y'all are all the same. Um, you should get your nose pierced. My nostrils are too wide. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. My nostrils are too wide. And I hate when people have that little booger thing sticking out. Oh, I do not like those. That's why I said I can't date nobody. How what you said? They still was in the wrong. Need to step up their professionalism. You're right, friend. But, like I said, it, it, it really just all boiled down to communication. That's all it was. Call your insurance and get a rental. Um, I, I'm doing everything out my pocket, friend. Um, but uh 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 uh, uh, uh um, where were we at? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I was just, oh the nose ring. I don't like that little booger thing, and that that's gross. So that's why I don't really fuck with people who be having them. Um, how was your day? It was really, really, really good. I don't like people who have the no, the little booger thing that come out their nose. I don't like that. The mechanic is probably cute. We back to saying, fuck it. <laughs> May Gymnas versus June. They're all the same. And, um... Maybe because I'm May 31st, so I'm right there with y'all June ones anyway. But I feel like no matter what sign you are, the only time your sign I feel will differ is if, like, you're at the beginning or you at the end. So, like, if you're at the beginning, I feel like you're going to have the good traits of the Gemini. If you're at the beginning of Gemini, you're going to have the good traits of us. And then if you at the end of the other sign, you're picking up their bad traits. So it's like a mixture. But if you're a real Gemini in the middle, you a Gemini. But I am May 31st. So, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It ain't the same, so girl. Okay, that's your opinion. 
That's your opinion, girl. I mean, that's your opinion. Um, Zara, so Gemini's compatible. Wait, who? What? Oh, you said who are they compatible with? Um, like, I'm a... You a who? <sighs> Y'all, I can't see. I think I'm going to get my eyes did. I'm the first day of Gemini's May 22nd. I'm June 28th of February. Any plans for your birthday, friend? I have no clue. I really don't. I really don't. Look at my mouth. I got both crybaby and anger issues. Hello? Gemini's, we do cry. But like, we don't, we don't like people to, we don't, we don't really like, we don't really like doing that like, um, Zoe, will you ever bleach your eyebrows? No. We don't really like doing that public crying shit. Like, if it happened, you catch us, but we gonna tighten the fuck up. Like, I don't even wanna cry, bitch. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Love you, Zoe. Love you too, friend. Hey, Zoe. Hey, boo. I'm a Leo, and we sweet as ever. <laughs> sure. Sure. You're so sweet, Leo. Extremely sweet. Perfect. Um, what's I finna say? Because I'm ready to go. Um, I think that's it. I think we're kind of done here. <laughs> what about Kanye? Oh, yes. He's a Gemini for sure. And people don't get him. Like, people... People don't get him. And it makes me so mad uh, that people don't get him. And what I was trying to say on my YouTube, or on my little um, podcast about him, people don't get him. Kanye has been Kanye since day one. And it's sad that people can't see that he really hasn't changed at all. He's still himself. Um, we're very vocal. We're very, very vocal people. And when we believe in something, we get very aggressive. And um, no, don't, oh, we get very aggressive when we really believe in something. Like, and my mom, I always tell my mama that when I know something is right and I know that I'm getting done wrong, I get very stern. Like, it's like, like, it's like, okay, calm down, calm down, because nobody's going to listen to you because you're so angry. And that's why Gemini's have to learn to just breathe. We, like, we will, we will get so passionate about something, and it will come off like you're just angry. And we're not really angry. We're just like, why the fuck don't you get it? Like, how when she says, oh, they're just giving you it, suggestions. And I'm like, I don't need the suggestions because I just told you what is working. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's working. I've changed nothing. So if I've changed nothing, then how the fuck can something mess up? That's just how we are. Like, it's just like, what the fuck in your face is what's in your face. You know what I'm saying? That's why when he made that video, um, why do people say, um, when people say, who do he think he is? And if I told you I'm a God, then that's who the fuck I think I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you asking me who the fuck you think you are? Nigga, I told you I'm a God. And that is so true. Like, I hate when people like ask, they say there's no such thing as a dumb question. Yes, there are. There are dumb questions out there. So anyway, um, I think when, like me and my brother were saying, I think when Kanye's mama passed away, he lost his like groundness, his foundation. And nobody can understand what it's like to lose a parent unless you've lost one. So when he lost his mama, he lost that security blanket, that, that, that foundation. You know what I'm saying? So then I guess all he felt he had left was the Kardashians and their family. And I'm not saying they're bad people, but I don't. <sighs> certain people aren't rooted in, I'm not going to say them, just certain people aren't rooted in God. Okay. They're not rooted in God. They're not rooted in love. They don't have goals and morals. Like some people have goals, but your goals can be 
money. It could be fame. It could be this. But some people have goals on, I want to get money so I can help this person or I can help this country or I can do this. And Kanye has always been that person. So then when he did that thing, if y'all follow me, he was always good. Nobody was talking about him. Nobody, Kanye was that man. And then when his mama passed and he did that stuff with Taylor Swift, that is when everything about Kanye changed. He was always arrogant because that's just a Gemini. We're arrogant. We're arrogant people. We're strong. We're um, independent. That's us. That is us. And when we feel like somebody we fuck with is getting fucked over, excuse my language, when we feel like somebody we dealing with is getting screwed over, or you're not giving them the acknowledgement, we're going to step up for our person. And we don't care where it's at, who it is, we're going to talk our shit for our person. And so when he did that with Taylor Swift, and he got on that stage, and he said, this should, oh, I'm spitting. This should have been for Beyonce. Child. That's when everything went crazy. It went, that Kanye's crazy. Kanye's this. He's going through that. Then his mama died. So it's like, a, it's a lot. So he's battling with the stuff he's seen in the industry that we haven't seen and talked about. Then he's battling with his spirituality because, you know, when you get caught up in all that shit, it's just a lot. So he's trying to speak and then he's not speaking. And it's just, it's a lot. It's just a lot. It's a, and when you really just sit, so the, the media, you guys, the media is a really, it's a really toxic place. And he wasn't lying about Beyonce, but the fact that he did that to that poor little girl and her moment, it looked really bad. And it, it did. It looked bad. It looked selfish. It was inconsiderate of her moment because everybody deserves a moment. D despite if she needed it, it's, despite if she worked for it or not, that was her moment. You know what I'm saying? That was her moment. Granted, if they were cheating, everybody cheat everywhere with votes, with politicians, with everything. If they cheated, oh well. We know what the fuck going on. We know who really deserved it. But Jim and I's, we just, we talk up. We talk up. And he just was this night, man, you know what? Fuck this shit. But anyway, um, the media is a toxic place, you guys. It is so so oh, so 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 bad and they can that's why it's called program television they can program you to make you think anything they want to they can ruin somebody's image in the blink of an eye just like they, they can just ruin it they can ruin it and Kanye really has done nothing bad but they have everybody thinking that he is just this cuckoo crazy person who has lost his mind and he's just needs help and psychiatric help but he's not he's still the same person very headstrong very dominant very outspoken it's him but now he's trying to battle with trying to make people see that i'm not crazy he's always been different he's always been edgy he's always pushed it to the limit but because now that they program people to think he's crazy he's not y'all he's not crazy the man's not crazy and if you just sit down and listen to him talk it's how he talks like Kanye has always talked in like riddles and rhymes and you have to really figure out what the hell he's talking about you know what I'm saying and you just got to really sit down. He's not going to just give it to you straightforward. You have to really, he's on a different wavelength than everybody else. You got to like really listen to him. And people are like, no, Zoe, he's, and I, if you're getting mad at me, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But um, this is just my opinion and you can have your opinion and we can agree to disagree and we can still be friends. Because you're gonna, I'm going to like stuff that you don't like and you're going to like stuff that I don't like. And it's just, it is what it is. You might smoke cigarettes. Great. I don't. I think it's gross. But, you know, I'm not going to hate you for it. So just because I support somebody and like somebody, as long as you're not like a killer and doing dumb shit, you can't. Why you hate me for liking this person? So anyway, on to the Kim Kardashian thing. 
I feel the only reason the um the only reason that he has he's bringing everything to the internet because some people are like no zo he's he's this is abuse that he's doing to this girl I think he really does like her you know how like you can like somebody but oh excuse me but then you know the person's not good for you but then on top of that you just don't want to be that statistic type of person where it's like man. Black men don't ever be there for their family or boop, 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 boop. So it's like sometimes we as people will be like, you know what? I'm willing to just go through this so I won't be this. And I feel like he's not really happy there and he does love her, but he really don't want to be there. But he don't want to be a black daddy who's not in their kid's life. If you get what I'm saying, because even if you sometimes if you listen to people's interviews, they, you, they'll tell you who they really are. And when they asked him that question, what's the best thing about being a family? I mean, what's the best thing about um, being in a marriage or something? He said the children. He didn't say, oh, my family or, you know, Kim and the kids. He said my children because he was being honest. It's my children because mentally he already knew I'm not. Never mind, y'all. You just got to, I'm very observant and you got to just watch people. I'm a people watcher and I'm not, I'm observant, but he do love that woman. He does, but he's just, I don't know. So back to putting everything, back to putting everything online. I think the reason he's putting everything online is because secretly, I think Kim wasn't telling him where um they always blame them. I really think Kim wasn't telling him where the uh birthdays were. And I think she was being malicious behind the scenes. I'm not saying this is true. I think she was being malicious behind the scenes and she didn't think he was going to be so vocal in the press. And the reason I feel he was putting everything online so if anything happened as far as like, you know, lawyers coming out and saying, "Oh, Kanye did this." Or um, Kanye was doing that. He kept y'all in tune with everything. So when all this stuff blew out, he, he could say, I told y'all this happened on this day. I told you this happened on that day. I told you I couldn't go to the birthday on this day. I, I done told y'all everything. So they can't come out and say no fucking lie about me. This happened this day. Here go the text message here. Here go this here. And that's why when Kim texted him, she said, why do you always got to put our business online? This is going to end up hurting our child too. No, baby, you just want it to be private. So then when shit come out, if he say, she say, your word against my word. Nah, I want them to know what the fuck is going on and how the fuck this shit being handled. And that's what I feel he was doing that. Did he want to do that? No, but I think he was just covering his ass. Um, somebody said playing a victim as always. No, I feel he was covering his ass because I'm telling you, people can really manipulate people and make y'all think that they're so and they're so like an angel and perfect when they're really not an angel and perfect. But because he's the one showing everything. It's making him look like he's the crazy, out of control, overly possessed husband who just can't let his family go and she don't want to be with him. I don't think it was that. I just don't. I think he really cared about his children and he just wanted his children. Fuck the, fuck the wife and everything else. He just really wanted his children. That's what I really believe. I don't know. Y'all can, you can think what you think. And I think what I think. And that's something I would have did. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to cover my ass because I'm telling you, the media can make or break you. It really can. And I would cover my ass too. Just like with the Chris Brown situation. Um, though, remember he did Amber like this too. I don't know. He acts different with women. He love, um, with the Amber situation. That's my boo. I don't know if she here watching me because she followed me. But um, y'all just never know, child. Amber, my I love her, but Amber ain't no. She ain't no easy rodeo either. I don't believe nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. So um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I don't know.
But do I, I, I don't know. But like I said, I don't think he's crazy. As far as like, sometimes he, I think he do some stuff overboard. Yes. He goes a little overboard, but, um, I don't think, I don't think he's a hundred percent right and wrong. And I don't think she's a hundred percent right and wrong. I think they're both whatever, whatever was going on. But do I think the whole point of the conversation was, do we think he's crazy? No, I don't think he's crazy, but I do think that he really just wants his family. I don't think he cares about her, but when somebody else tried to get with her, I think he did get jealous. But I don't think he really cares too much about her like that. I don't know. But it is what it is. I think he cares more so about his children, to be honest. But I do think he still has some type of love for her or whatever it is for her. Whatever. But as far as like being together, I don't think they need to be together. No. They don't need to be together. They don't need to be together. Period. They don't. Do not. I think that I think that ship has sailed. <laughs> that ship is gone. Um, now the Chris Brown situation. Um, the Chris Brown. I'm just glad he had those receipts. And like I was telling my friend today, I think with that with that type of situation, I think the people who lie. Somebody somebody said Kanye is controlling. I think he was doing. We're going. Can we go, Chris Brown? Um, he's harassing her though. I don't think y'all. Have you ever heard like tit for tat? That's why I say everybody's not perfect. Um, tag and Kim ain't finna make me shut up, girl. We on two different tax brackets. She is not finna come in here. Nor is Kanye. They don't give a fuck what I'm saying. That's why I told y'all have that fuck it attitude they're probably like who is though girl he's on youtube fuck it so you can tag him all you want to i'm still gonna say what the fuck i'm gonna say and then when they meet me and they don't like shit about me they can say what the fuck they can say and i'm gonna say fuck it <laughs> i don't know you and you don't know me fuck it <laughs> you think tagging is gonna make me shut up no you there's gonna bitch if our lives are public we're going to all say what we want to say about somebody whose life is public. Doesn't mean we're right or wrong. At the end of the day, I don't know shit about them. I'm just saying what I feel. And I don't feel she's wrong. I don't feel he's wrong. I don't feel he's crazy. And I said I feel like they both should not be together. And that's how I feel. If they want to be together, that's on them. But I don't feel they should be together because I feel like that relationship is toxic. Um, you basically just contradicted yourself. How, friend? Please come tell me because I'm going to make you feel crazy. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, now you don't want to pick up. I just want to know how to contradict myself. Just, you ain't got to show your face. Just hold your camera to the ceiling and tell me how I contradicted myself. Hold your camera to the ceiling. Because maybe I was talking fast. Oh, you, don't, you want to decline it. I just want to know how I contradicted myself. Hold your... Just hold the camera to the ceiling. Hold your camera to the... Okay, so how did I contradict myself? Because basically, you just said Kanye wants to prove to us that he's not the person he wants to be, then turn around and say... Then turn around and say, oh, well, they don't give a fuck about me, so you can post them in my group because they don't give a fuck about me. Yes. They don't... You, that's not a kind of, it's like they don't he's just when I say he wants to prove that who he is that's not to make you care about him it's just like I'm talking about like to his family members I feel basically so like he doesn't care what I say he doesn't care what I'm saying on my live right correct correct he doesn't care what I'm saying but what I'm saying is when he's trying to show people he just wants to show people look this is what's going on not that he can't, it kind of does sound like it's contradicting, but not, do I think he genuinely cares? No, but it's just showing, look, this is not me. I'm not crazy. Does that make sense? No. I mean, it makes sense to a point, but at the same time, it's just like. It's kind of, okay, it's kind of, okay. I'm, let me see how I can make it make sense. It's kind of like, how can I make it, how can I make it make sense? 
it's kind of like let's say let's say i um let's say I, i'm out here and i'm flirting with a lot of niggas right like, i'm just flirting i'm being crazy and people are saying so you a hoe you a hoe right yeah yeah i don't care if you think i'm a hoe but i just want you to know like bitch i ain't no hoe but i don't give a fuck what you think but it's just like i'm gonna be like bitch I'm not a hoe because I wear it. I don't know how to make it make sense. But I no, I mean, no, I, 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 I understand. What yeah, you're like, it's like, I'm trying to, it's just like, you don't, you, it's like you don't care, but you don't want people to have the wrong perception of you, if you get what I'm saying. So, like, he don't give but a fuck about, if I'm on this live saying, oh, Kanye crazy as fuck, he's stupid. But he kind of wants you to understand, like, I'm really not crazy. But even though you think that, but here's what I'm going to show you, just let you know, but I'm not crazy. Does that make sense? It makes sense, honestly. But <laughs> what, I'm, what, I, what I was trying to say is that I feel as though when you said the whole point of um, him not, him wanting to show the proof that this is what's going on, and then... In my mind, I'm thinking, why does he need to show us the proof if he has the proof on his phone? Because, and the only reason is because y'all, we, me, myself, we're consumers. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna we're we're gonna buy your music. We are the reason you're rich. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that is the only reason because he don't care what we think. It's kind of it sounds bad to say that. Like you don't care what people think about you. Period. Right. But if these people are still your consumers, these are the people why you're rich, you want to still let them know, you guys, I'm not crazy, woo -woo -woo -woo, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, at home, you don't care. But if you still keep that I don't care attitude, you can lose so much. You get it? That's, That's like me being famous. And I know that um, I, you know, I, I make money, woo -woo -woo, but then all of a sudden I'm like, man, fuck this shit. I don't give a fuck if these people like me or not. But if y'all don't buy my stuff, then, you know, how the fuck am I make my money? This thing has says I have one minute and 48 minutes, for like, um, one minute and 46 minutes remaining. It's hard to explain. It's just, yeah, it's basically like protecting your brand. It's like, I don't care, but I know I need, if I still want to make my money, I need to let these people know I'm really not crazy, but I yep, gotta let them know. I, I, at the same time, I think there's ways to go about it. Like, the way he's doing it is just... It's it's more like harassment. It's not. It's, it's not, coming off like that. Yes. It's coming off like that. But I think I I feel like it was smart because they they can, upset at me. Man. People can lie and change up a lot of shit. You said hang up on me. Huh? No, I'm no. You're, I mean, you're good. You're making me. I like when people have to make you yeah. explain what you mean. Like I love that because when people can't stand on what they mean, they don't even know what they're talking about. But right. um. No, I, I love the way that he's doing it. Be I feel like sometimes it is a little bit too harsh, but I love the way he's doing it because um, it's like, if we knew nothing, if we knew that she wouldn't let him go to the birthday party or we didn't know this or we didn't know that, she can all of a sudden come out of nowhere and say, oh, Kanye's doing this. And then if he didn't have all that proof to show us, he'd be like, see, motherfucker crazy. But, but I mean, he still would showing, have it on his phone. He? he still would have those messages on his phone regardless if he told us. But at the, the point is, he wanted y'all to know, because you can always, the technology now, child, you can make up anything quick. But he was just keeping, yeah. I feel he was keeping everybody in the loop to show this is what's going on. And then that is what made him be able to get to the birthday party or to get here or to do this because he was telling. Um, hold on, it's about to cut off. It says 13, 12 seconds. But um, I don't know. I appreciate I mean, you. I appreciate, everybody has their I, own I appreciate taking the time to, to really have this, you know, conversation with me but <laughs> you thought I was gonna be mean didn't you